Have you any idea what imagination plus manifestation equals? Imagination. So I sort of coined the word imagification back in 1985, actually. Well, actually in 2023, when I began putting this story together to tell you about my story of manifestation when I got this job at the city and county of Denver. Well, the story goes kind of like this. I have to get you ready for it. So we're going to go back in time. So in this day, in 1985, I remember looking up at that building and there was a clock tower there and I was looking at, there was just a feeling that came over me. So as I was looking at it, I just, something came over me and I said, I'm going to work in this building within the next year. All of the positions that were there, I really didn't have a degree for any of the positions in that building. Now I love that building. It was just a feeling I had. I had a feeling. <laughs> I mean, anybody that's ever lived in Denver will tell you it's a spectacular building, especially during holidays, at Christmas. It's sort of a focal point, you know, when the Broncos or any of the sports teams, when <laughs> everybody goes to that building. It's the city and county of Denver building. I digress. But here's where we come to back to imagination. So I might not have had a degree in any of the positions that really were in that building, but there was a program called Clean Denver, which was part of the Keep America Beautiful systems. And I said, but I do have transferable skills. I had been a volunteer in Georgia where we had just moved from, back from, back to Denver. I'm back in Denver. Here's my transferable skill. Get ready. <laughs> I was a trash can. I was a singing, tap dancing trash can in Clayton County, Georgia. <laughs> I'll transfer my skills as a trash can to the big city of Denver <laughs> from Clayton County, Georgia. And there I was. And that's what I did. I volunteered my way into the city and county building. You know, I love to sing and dance. That was what I wanted to do. Uh, never made it to Hollywood. <laughs> made it to the city and county building. But literally, I'm not kidding. This is where a manifestation comes into play. You have to imagine it and then use the principles of manifestation. Because sometimes uh, people will say, but it has to be practical. You know, you can't just say, I want money and it will come. <laughs> I want to work in this building. <laughs> it will come. It may come, by the way. But literally, I had imagined Dolly Levi. And literally, I became Dolly Litterless <laughs> of the Denver. Look, at the, I dressed up as a glitterized trash can and... For heaven's sakes, for uh, the entire time that I worked in my position. But first I volunteered and I was introduced and I wanted to come down those big steps at the city and county of Denver, but I was afraid I might fall down the stairs. But I always imagined myself as Barbara Streisand. But I did get to sing um, a parody of Hello Dolly, but we sang it to Hello Denver, and it was so hysterical, and everybody had trash bags on. And later, years later, the mayor of Denver, Mayor Federico Pena, what a wonderful mayor he was, you guys. <laughs> he would put on trash bags and sing and dance with us just for the sake of recycling and 
letter prevention and later graffiti. He was so much fun. I wish our politicians today were more like Federico Pena. And so the best part was being able to work with my husband and my children and my mother-in-law and sister-in-law and my nephews <laughs> and my second cousin twice removed friends it was a fabulous fabulous time it was i mean it was like you know the community coming together and we would literally it was like a little little theater in many ways so i was able to do the things i wanted to do i mean i always wanted to go and and be on Broadway or go to Hollywood or just perform but I never really had time for that because I was a working mother and I had you know I was working in the city and county building as the trash can <laughs> actually I was the executive director for the keep Denver beautiful program and that within that year I did get that job and that's what I ultimately uh, ended up doing and through that program I learned so many more skills we would do these annual award ceremonies as I said I was able to work with my family to me the job was so much fun I never really thought I was working but I was I was working really really hard when you organize 75,000 people in a day to clean up litter. There's a lot of organizing that you do. To me, it was a playground. <laughs> At the end of the day, I enjoyed it. But then that's what a manifestation is and how it's a little bit different than manifesting because you're helping people. And that propelled me to my next manifestation. I liken myself a little bit like Mary Poppins. You know when it's time to pop away. And that's really what my career has been like. So when I retired, people said, well, what did you do for a living? I went, <laughs> a lot of everything. Just all this crazy stuff, right? Actual end result. And what we began this video with was Imagifestation. That's exactly what I did. I imagifestationed all of my jobs. And through those jobs, not only did I learn, uh, I really, really got to know some great people in those positions. And so my hope for you is how to imagifestation your own great jobs or anything in your life, whatever that may be, whether it's to be in a great production or uh, take a trip, whatever it may be, just imagine it. Think about me in the trash can. <laughs> what a transferable skill. Have trash can, will travel. <laughs> Singing, tap dancing, trash can. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in today. On our next video, we'll talk about how this job propelled me to the next job. That one, I guess we could say high school musical meets glee club. <laughs> hormonal 82, hormonal teenagers. What was I thinking then? <laughs> that one was crazy. Talk about prom dances. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was great. Oh, but we will get back to my childhood. That's what prepared me for all of this. <laughs> Imagifestation, that's what it is.